Hi guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mithun and in this YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily switch between multiple clips in Camtasia. Specifically, how you can shift specifically how you can switch between your webcam footage and the screen recording that you captured using the Camtasia screen recording software. It is a bit tricky and you might actually get lost. So I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to make sure that this entire tutorial is extra simple for you. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I have the Camtasia recorders editor, which is Camtasia editor. I earlier recorded this footage to uh, demonstrate this particular tutorial and I've already imported that particular clip onto my timeline. Let me just uh, quickly remove all the effects that were added and uh, bring the footage back to what it was in the beginning. So as you can see, this was the entire footage and uh, I imported it onto, the, onto my timeline. Uh, I imported it onto my timeline and now we have two clips. One clip is of the screen recording, which is actually placed at the track one. And the second clip is the webcam footage, which is placed at the second particular track. You can get the similar effect and uh, options available at Pepo Cloud as well. And I usually prefer Pepo Cloud over Camtasia Recorder because Camtasia Recorder is a software that you need to actually purchase and then install on your computer. It also doesn't have any support for Linux as well. So I prefer Pepo Cloud, which is also a premium uh, platform, but it is a lot more affordable and has a lot more feature as compared to the Camtasia software. Not to mention Pepo Cloud works seamlessly on a Linux operating system as well, because all you need to do is open up your favorite web browser and go to pepocloud.com to get started with it. Now let's uh, talk about this tutorial. As you can see, I have actually two clips, as I mentioned earlier, earlier on my timeline, both of these clips were recorded at the same time using Camtasia. Now, if I have to actually switch between these two clips and uh, make sure that the foreground clip is actually uh, my uh, cam webcam clip, what I can do to make that happen is I can actually resize these two clips and uh, particularly uh, place them in a way that it looks like I'm switching between these two clips. Let's say that uh, in a particular section up till up till here, I only want to showcase my particular webcam and I want it to appear in the center. So what I can do is I can actually select this particular clip and drag my webcam footage from the corner to the center and uh, quickly resize it. When you quickly resize it, it will actually become bigger. And now you can actually place this uh, particular footage over in the middle of the screen. You can even make it full screen, but uh, unfortunately the webcam recording that I have of my webcam is not of a higher quality and it was compressed before importing into uh, this particular editor. So I'm going to keep it at that. Now I have this uh, webcam footage that is almost full screen almost a full screen so let me make it full screen you know what let me make it full screen let me make it uh, all right let me drag it to the 100 uh, percent media uh, screen size and i'm also going to drag it from this particular location to make it full screen so this is uh, my uh, webcam footage it is not of a really high quality uh, resolution because i recorded it using a 720p uh, webcam so anyway, this is just for the demonstration purpose. When you actually record, make sure that you're recording using a high quality webcam instead. So uh, now for uh, uh, the entirety of this clip, I have my webcam uh, as the main clip, but the screen recording is not visible. So let's say that uh, up till uh, four seconds, I want my webcam to be the main clip of this particular video. What I can do is that uh, at the right at the four second mark, I can actually split the clip into two parts. And I can actually make sure that uh, after this four second, the clip is back to the original state where it was. So I'm going to resize this particular clip and I'm going to bring it back to the same resolution and space, same size that it was before. So if you look at it, right when this at this particular location up till the 4.4 second mark the clip is actually full screen and when you when i actually go beyond the four second mark 
you will see that it is in the picture in picture mode and the screen recording is also visible now you can actually add a visual effect or a transition effect to actually uh, animate this particular uh, split between these two clips to make them look really smooth so let's uh, do that i'm a big fan of this uh, checkboard type of uh, transition so i'm going to add this particular transition to both of these clips so that it actually adds a great looking transition to the clip so the transition was added to the clip and uh, that's how you actually switch between your uh, cam footage and your uh, screen footage without actually doing anything fancy. Now, let's say that after the 10, 10 second mark, you don't want to show your webcam entirely. So what you can do is that you can actually uh, split the clip at, right at the 10 second mark and uh, make sure to drag the entire uh, pin to wherever you want to stop this particular setting from. Uh, displaying. I'm going to split the clip again at that particular mark and then I'm going to remove this webcam footage entirely. So when you actually go from this, go beyond the 10 second mark, the webcam footage is automatically disabled and uh, when, you appear, when you actually reach the 16 second mark, the webcam magically appears. So that's how you can actually make use of this particular setting and how you can actually play some tricks to enable this feature. In order to make this entire uh, transition smooth and uh, professional, I would actually add one more actually uh, transition effect to uh, these clips. And uh, let me just uh, disable this sound. And uh, so I have... Uh, so the transition has been added. Let me see how it looks. As you can see, it, the webcam footage was removed seamlessly, uh, removed and it looked really smooth. And uh, right at the 16 second mark, it actually appears with an animation. You can further play, play around with various effects that are present in this particular panel. Once you're satisfied with all the effects, you can actually export the footage. You can actually export the footage using this export button over here and place it anywhere on your timeline on your place it anywhere on your computer just drain, name it whatever you want and uh, save it wherever you want on your computer just keep in mind that if your footage is longer than 10 minutes a rendering will take some time and once the render is completed you may want to check the quality if you didn't get the quality that you desired you might have to play around with some advanced setting that comes with the exporter function in camtasia so that was my tutorial for uh, switching between webcam footage and the screen recording in camtasia recorders editor after recording the screen and webcam simultaneously using the camtasia screen recorder if you have any doubts regarding this tutorial please drop them in the comment section below if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in my next tutorial. Take care and bye-bye.